Hello and welcome back to Kesson 2 with me, Relic Ty. This is the beginning of Zhao Zhao's storyline, which is, in my opinion, the better of the the better of the two storylines, because Zhao Zhao and his company are just much more interesting and fun than Liu Bei and his company. The, you saw me max out Zhang Fei in Liu Bei's campaign. That's because Zhang Fei is obviously one of my favorite characters from the Romance of the Three Kingdoms series. Um, and he's just so much better than most people in Liu Bei's command. Uh, in Zhao Zhao's, you'll probably see me uh, max Yen Yu out, her. She's a female in this game. And Zhao Dun and uh, Zheng Liao will probably be amongst my most used units as well. Because they're the best. Oh, Eugen will obviously be used a lot, though. Eugen's just hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's begin Zhao Zhao's campaign. It's much more fun than Lou Bay's, in my opinion, so... I wish I could... Like, I... It sucks that it just went in like this, and that it, I didn't have much of a choice. We will be victorious. As you wish. Like, that really sucks. I have great confidence in my strategic skills, something that comes very easy to me. Give me the chance to prove how useful I can truly be. Gozia, you were the most amazing strategist. Escaping Cao Cao's clutches, Liu Bei gathers his troops in Zhu and prepares to rescue Diao Chan. To stabilize his position, Cao Cao leads his troops directly toward Liu Bei so that he can conquer his stronghold in Zhu. Chen. Tell me, where is the Imperial Seal? <laughs> I warn you again. Tell me or Liu Bei will die. Liu Bei will not be defeated. Then promise me. If I defeat him, you'll tell me where the seal is. Here is the Imperial Seal. Seek out a worthy hero to give it to. Take it. Your Majesty, promise me. Thank you, Dao Chan. Hey! <laughs> you bay. I will wring your neck. one of the greatest heroes of all. Please, I don't understand why he has to die. Such talk is disloyal and dangerous even from my uncle. Leave me. Pardon me? I said leave me! When the subject concerns Leo Bay, my lord gets very upset. Shut up. Everyone, listen up now. I have something to say. Heaven hates Liu Bei. It gave him enemies like Cao Cao and me. <laughs> Commence the war council. Report on your situation. Our scouts have just reported that the enemy is currently holding at this position. Okay. If we are to win, we must force the enemy's general, Liu Bei, and all his men to flee. If my lord has to flee, then we will surely be defeated. State your strategy. If I may offer this humble suggestion. The enemy is an undisciplined mob. If the revered commanders Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are taken out, morale will collapse and the remaining officers will lose control over the men. My lord. Please let me share my strategy. I suggest that we entice the enemy to target our storehouse. It will appear to be left unprotected, but our troops will lie in wait to ambush the attackers. Jia Hao Yuan here will mount a strong defense. My lord, which strategy will you have us employ? Oh. 
Uh, I feel like there was stuff I wanted to say, and I just got lost because we had to do good, just go through. It sucks that this episode is mixed up and weird and kind of in two things. Um, that's it. But definitely, I have something I want to say. Um, the whole reason that Zhao Zhao and Liu Bei originally began fighting each other is because uh, Zhao Zhao kidnapped the child emperor. Well, didn't kidnap him, but save, quote unquote, him from, you know, Li, Li Ju, I think, or Li Zhu, or whatever the guy's name was, who cares? You know, like Zhao Zhao was manipulating him. Is that right? That might not be right. Him, if I. I don't know. Somebody sent us a studded, a studded, I think it was studded, leather belt to Dong Cheng, I believe was his name, with a note to kill Zhao Zhao. And Dong Cheng convinced Ma Tang to join him, and Ma Tang was like, Right, Gio, we'll assassinate Zhao Zhao. And Liu Bei and a couple of other people were amongst those who were, uh, not necessarily involved, but were offered to be involved, like were talked to, were approached. Um, I think Liu Bei was along with it, though, if I remember correctly. But Ma Tang came to the capital, was invited to the capital by Zhao Zhao, and was all like, Hey, I'm Ma Tang, and I'm gonna kill you. Well, that was his original intent, but Zhao Zhao had him killed. Uh, Dong Cheng was also invited and killed. And then Cao Zhao just went after the, re the rest of the people who were a party to the uh, to the plot. And that would be Liu Bei. So that's how that happened. So Cao Zhao actually, <laughs> you know, went into war with a lot of people. Be mostly because they decided to, uh, to fuck with him first, really. And, I mean, he obviously planned out certain things and definitely took advantage of certain situations but a lot of people got screwed because they decided to screw with him not because he was you know like yeah i'm just gonna go kill lupe now why not no it was like lupe lupe I'm, I'm the emperor i have a secret order save me <laughs> zao zao's misusing his powers <laughs> and then everybody screws with zao zao and he's like you know what I know it's best for the Emperor. Uh, I've fought everybody so far, and fuck all of you. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> but, uh, back to this. I like these both. Um, Let's use this strategy to battle. Yes, sir. Obviously, Zhao Yu and I'm not actually going to use it all because I don't know if he actually if he still dies during Zhao Zhao's storyline. I'm pretty sure he does though. So there's no point in him gaining any experience. He could definitely. I believe that he comes um, super upgraded though, so I believe he could take on both Zheng Fei and Guan Yu. And not have any issue doing it. Like, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Is, do, you, do you have, uh... Oh, you have both? Man, they could use the experience, though. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, see, he comes, like... Because I'm pretty sure this is the, the only battle that he's a part of. Oh, well, he has officers that need experience, but he's... He can't be, like, the main one. Uh, I'm trying to... I need to make orders. Because if we stay close to our storehouse, we'll get our abilities back faster. If you remember from uh, prior gameplay, we'll get our abilities back faster and we won't have to... Uh, struggle against the enemy essentially as much Miko you know hail and lightning you only know rally me a shower really storm 
battle cry. Okay. I was just making sure all of his abilities would be good on a bridge battle, and they all they all are. So it's fine for him to stand where he is. Xiao Yuan will like provide support to the to the other two here, because I want Chang Yu and Gojia to uh, to gain some experience. They need it. We have located Guan Yu. Alright, so Zaran will take on Guan Yu. While that's happening, Yu Jin, you're gonna have to go around and uh, take on. Why is Zhao Hong not in this game? God, I need to. Oh, I need, I need to get into this. This battle, I need to help Zao Ren before he gets mauled. Zhang Fei, engage me. I really wish there was. I, I wonder if there's a way to increase the difficulty of the game. Because the game's too easy. If there is, I'll just replay this for his mission off screen and, uh. and then have the increased difficulty. sworn that you were allowed to use magic on bridge battles. Excuse, excuse me. Par pardon me? I guess not. Huh. Well, at the very least, I'll use this. This is obviously pretty much the tutorial, um, but from Zao Zao's point of view, which is kind of, like, I, I would have rather if you have the ability to just skip the tutorial and play it like this, you know, like, play, um, you know, like, from Lu Bei's standpoint, this kind of fight, it would just be more fun. I guess would be the word, then uh I'm doing it the way they decided to do it. Okay, a rush will be a great plan here. Your units don't start off very good other than uh Yin Yu really. Huh. And obviously I don't want to use Jackass who's super powerful, but I'm gonna have to use him as a uh backup character. Assistance character. Someone to help me. Fierce. Now who's G? I know she becomes pretty powerful in this game. Um, as you can see, she's already pretty powerful. God. What's the enemy doing? Other than being dumb. Battle cry. What? What is this nonsense? slightly uh that may have been a little bit too slightly <laughs> let's spin back around here and we will rush this is a fictional character who i'm playing as i'm pretty sure i don't believe i don't believe either of these two were actually real but who knows they could have been the daughters of uh that one officer i mentioned earlier who gojia replaces because he dies early 
Wow, that did a lot of damage. That was good. I'm happy with that. We have located Liu Bei. We have located Mei Sun Ying. Once she's across the bridge, I'll, uh, I'll attack her. Okay, because now I can use my magic, of course. I'll come back once the uh, the armies are actually closed in. Ah, oh, Zhang Fei is uh, about to be right wiped out. Let me re wait. My men aren't confused, or are they? Are my men confused? Um, men are you? Whose men are confused? <laughs> The Han Imperial Bodyguard! Show you! I fight for the Emperor's Royal Clan! And Lord Liu Bei! And Lord Liu Bei! I'm the Emperor's Clan? Look, we've already seen this before. I can talk over this crap. I just can't skip it because uh, that might be like Zhao Zhao's POV. Being like the enemy has reinforcements, Pah! it won't make a difference. Speaking of Zaza, let me recover my uh, I meant I was going to. Well, I'm gonna rally anyway, I guess. Because I'll likely get it back so quick since we're right beside our storehouse. Now the thing is that you gotta remember is uh, you are now red. You're no longer blue or green. You're now red. And it's, it's something that kind of throws uh, some people off for a little bit, having their colors change like that. But, um, you know. <laughs> I'm saying that because some of you like might be like, Oh god, he's, he's using abilities on some people! <laughs> and then, you know, being like, oh wait, no he's not. <laughs> there, he's red now. Himiko's okay and all, but I like, um, I mean, Himiko's a great person to, like, level up, but I do like, uh, the other one more. And you. I like Yenyu more than Himiko. Especially because she has Ice Storm, which, if I remember, is a cool looking but not that effective spell. <laughs> it's a cool looking, but uh, it's not that effective. Hail with a strong general is actually remarkably effective, but with a weak general, it's a pathetic piece of crap weapon. But if you would, if like Yen Yu would be, um, you know, maxed out essentially, uh, she would do just stupid damage with her stuff. <laughs> I'm 
like we'll see a weak hail here from him. Alrighty then. He does not have her stuff back yet. Gather, my troops. Gather. Nah, 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 nah. Losers. Today's a bitter drink. Damn right it is. <laughs> no! How dare you do that! I'm in the middle of something, guys. Good enough charge! That was a pretty lousy one. We didn't do that much damage. And now you general provide arrow support for, uh... It's not around. You know, I'm curious. I'm 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 really Our curious here. Show what you're made of. And remember, if Zha if by my side. If Sha Ho Yuan can take Zha Yun in a duel. I would assume he could, because he's like maxed out since he's only here for one battle. But I'm just I'm just really curious, you know. <laughs> We'll find out in about a second. I win. Spoiler alert. Thrown Jaoyun's unit into disarray. But I'm going to be pulling Jiao Yuan's unit back here soon, so I'm just gonna bust his tactics and then pull him back. And let Sa Ren take over. <laughs> they really did give Cheng Yu a di the disposition that I would uh, assume that, like, Shu would have. If you've played the new Dynasty Warriors, you kind of like would get it, because like that dude has like this really dark, creepy disposition. He's not he's not as he's not as insane though. Chang Yu is insane in this game. For no good reason, Chang Yu is insane. Like literally insane. Legitimately insane. <laughs> Up and back down. Ah, uh, today's a bitter drink. I can't defeat them. Can I just... I should just take over Eugen. Uh, Eugen's unit and just walk him over. Her over. Him over. Him over. Uh, Eugen's just an effeminate man. Which is part of the reason why I like him so much. And I think his subordinate officers are both females. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, they're not related. One's Dong and one's Shi. So they wouldn't be related. I wonder why they have the same first name, though. That's creepy. That's what that is. 
That's creepy. I made a mistake. Well, I guess Eugene's just gonna get credit for killing two people then. <laughs> Let's finish Mei Sun Ying. You're going to fight me? Zhao Boo is usually a subordinate officer of Zhao Zhao. He gets Iron Walls, a secondary ability. And then after that, I think he gets a Battle Cry. He's, a, he's mostly a support officer kind of role. Quickly, Zaren, you must stop him from crossing the damn bridge and burning our supply depot. Uh oh, I think he got past. Don't know though. Nope. Well, he did, but Siren caught him on the bridge, so Siren's still fighting him. Good job, Siren. <laughs> that was... Whew, that was close. <laughs> they almost got to our supply depot. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> but you just did to Yu Jin. Guan Yu and Jiang Fei have been defeated? Damn it! What do we do now? Uh apparently be defeated. <laughs> they weren't worth the trouble. I'm not ready to die. Not right here. All right, I'm gonna have Zhao Zhao stop Lu Bei at the bridge. Have Yu Jin go and engage Lu Bei, and then have Zhao Zhao join Zhao Ren in the, in fighting him, in fighting that uh, Zhao Yun. Yeah. Because Zaren's not going to be able to beat Xiao Yun all by himself. You can, as you can clearly see, he's having a lot of troubles. Well, I mean... I mean, it, it, so it is a weakened Xiao Yun. Why is there a random soldier out there? Did you guys see that in the background? <laughs> it was like when you play um, uh, Time Crisis. There was, uh, there's, sometimes there's just like this random dude really, really far in the back that if you can shoot him, you get like bonus points for. You're like, and so like, oh, good job, you did it, yay! But Zaren did have the tougher task of fighting Guan Yu. Guan Yu starts out slightly better than Shang Fei. And Zaren's just not really that great starting out. Wait, Lu Bei issued a battle cry? Is that what happened there?
Oh, that battle cry. Oh. It scared me. I don't know what to do anymore. I think... I think I have to give up. After that. That was incredible. Ooh, if Yuji gets her, uh... Her, her thing back. We might not even need Zazo. Ability. I think you can use Rush on a, uh... On a bridge. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, we could win now even without Zaza's support, but we're gonna get it anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, this is gonna be perfect. Oh. Come on, come on. They're still a little spread out, but... Yeah, we did stuff. Come on, Zaza, get into this, this battle. I want to use some more of my uh, special abilities. Wait, am I not allowed to fight him because he's fighting on a bridge? Fine. No, I am. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Sudden musical change for no reason. Might as well use my magics because, uh... I won't be able to use them whenever I attack Lupe over the bridge. Oh my god, I missed! Well, I'm a failure. Why not I hit some people? Let's take this opportunity to show off Ice Storm. You know, the, uh, the amount of, ex like, magical experience or whatever, war experience, whatever kind of experience that they get for using their abilities is probably so minimal that it doesn't even matter. Like, for me to be constantly doing them, but I do them anyway. Much to your, the viewer, chagrin. If only, if only. But archers are effective. <laughs> they weren't worth the trouble. <laughs> when I come back, I'll be twice as strong. If you come back, you mean. Too bad you're dead. <laughs> I like how Zazel's had perfect uh, morale all fight. Mostly because he's just. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's because he's by the uh, supply depot. And also because he has four officers and he's special. Like, specials and his whole group's a bunch of badasses. Oh my goodness, Eugen can take on everyone. You're surrounded. Luckily, Zhao's here. Two of your of Lu Bei's units now have to go and fight Zhao Zhao. And they will die. May as well. Our true destiny is here in this battle. Our morale is so high. Good job. And I'll 
I'll just battle cry with sounds now to kind of like drop them, I guess. What else am I gonna do? Well, I have to battle cry right, like about now because we're so, you know, there's just it's perfect spot. Um, and then I got something else in my sleeve. That's cray cray. Uh, if I, if I, whenever I try to change, if there, if there even is an ability, like a way to change uh, difficulty, if when I try to do it, it wants me to play through Lube's storyline again, I'm just, I'm just not gonna do it. So sorry about that. Uh, you don't have any archer units under your control. Might as well cross and, you know, like, come back over there, I guess. Can I watch from Eugene's perspective now? In case... Oh, you ran into the fight? Why would you do that? I guess because Eugene has so few remaining men, but... Zoomed in on that guy. Do, 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 do. Now we're just kind of waiting. Nothing much going on. This battle was a foregone conclusion. I almost let my supply depot get burned, though. Because I thought that's where Zhao Yun would go. But, nope. <laughs> Luckily, Zhao Ren was there to uh, prevent it. I like watching Zhao Zhao. He's like this super armored badass. So, it's kind of cool watching him fight. I mean, I like watching the girl I was watching uh, the mo probably more, but... I'm just bored, okay? I don't like not doing things. Not doing tactics. Not you, Jin. Where's, uh... There she is. She's fun to watch, just because she looks like her character design looks really cool. I would say. I don't want him to join the fight. Oh well. I can have Gogia do a, uh, a hail for the win. Hail Mary for the win! <laughs> Scoring the touchdowns! Up. And down. Take that one unit that we were fighting. <laughs> What was that, like eight men? <laughs> if you are willing to die, then you will never lose. Ah, I was hoping I'd... Over, save yourselves. Well, at least we got Lu Bay's defeated dialogue. Don't Shut up. I think we're done yet. I will get Yao Chan back. Gao Gao, I will not forgive you for this. I will have your head. Just wait. Brother, this way. Taste the strength of my army. Victory! <laughs> Taste the strength of my army. Victory! What now, bitches? <laughs> I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoils of war. At least she's not like Juke the Orange, like, after every battle, you finally gain the upper hand. <laughs> idiot. Oh, boy. Light arts to kill a very short book. 
bow. I don't know. My lord, this is Levion and Yuiji, sent to rid us of bandits some time ago. They've lost all their warriors and are now returning in shame to beg your pardon. The two of us were overpowered and taken prisoner. But somehow, we managed to escape. Lord, we will gladly go to the front lines in the next battle. Jin is actually supposed to be both of them are actually supposed to be uh, among the best that Zhao Zhao had Li Dian was very powerful like very you know intelligent and powerful and a good general and he was actually part of Zhang Liao's 800 man defense of uh, Hefei I think it is against Sun Quan's like super stupidly that like 100,000 men army and they have like 800 and they just repulsed him and were like haha it was him i think it was him yujin with the e and zhang liao actually who did it but zhang liao was the overall commander li dian was just but but the point remains li dian's actually pretty uh pretty good general and yu jin yu jin with the e is better in the long run than yu jin without the e because yu jin without the e Surrenders to uh, Guan Yu at Fawn Castle, I believe. And then, you know, is returned by Wu to Wei, scorned by Zhao Pi, and just dies from shame. Um, but early on, that Yujin earns more than the other Yujin. But then the Yujin with the E is kind of like, you know, last one left and better and whatever. So thanks for watching this episode. Next episode, we will continue our battle with Liu Bei and watch from Zhao Zhao's eyes the story that we have already seen. And, and let me tell you, it's much better from Zhao Zhao's perspective. And it's much more fun, too. Like, the battles are much more fun. You get cooler generals because, like, they, they clearly spent more time designing Liu Bei's guys, it looks like. And you, you, with Liu Bei, you get the strongest guys, like, right off the bat. With Zhao Zhao, you don't really get the strongest people right off the bat. And you don't really have any clear-cut strongest person. Like, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, there's no equivalent in Zhao Zhao's army other than, like, Yan Yu. Like, that's Yan Yu and Himiko. But, you know, Zhu Ge Liang joined Liu Bei so early. So it's like, there's no real equivalent officers but you get more officers with Zhao Zhao and you have a lot of potential you know like Gojia is really good um, obviously Yin Yu is really good Yu Jin and and those other two are are actually surprisingly good Ho, Hu Ji if she's upgraded is like incredible Zhao Ren can be good but he's he's more of a support kind of officer so I kind of like yeah I'll discard him he's not that grand and you get see my E, but see my E is like really shitty in combat. All right, enough of this. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll continue our fight. Good talk. Bye.